he's about to drop that teacup. Oh, she's perfect. Madeline, would you get Miss Lowell another cup of tea, please? She's terribly sorry. That's all right, dear. Really, it couldn't matter less. It's nothing. It's nothing. But it's just an old rug. I can just, uh, just squish that out and then just here dab go. it. Here, here, I'll take it. Just, just dab it and blot it. Here, I'll, I'll take uh, the glass here. Oh, right there. <laughs> if you, yeah, I think if you hold, if you just, uh, you can. There we go. Now. Incredibly clumsy woman, isn't she? No wonder she doesn't ride. Uh, uh, forgive me, Mama. Where am I? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Henrietta, is this some kind of joke? Because if it is, I do not find it amusing. If your nerves aren't steady enough to hold a cup and saucer in your hand, then you shouldn't be drinking tea. I would like once, yes, but twice in a row. It's too it, much. Too much. I don't Madam. There you are, madam. Take your damn carpet to the cleaners and send the bill to me. There you are. Come, Miss Laurel, I'm taking you home. Right. Take your bag. You son of a bitch. You dare call me a son of a bitch. Madam, I have seen many examples of perversion in my time. But your erotic obsession with your carpet is probably the most grotesque and certainly the most boring I have ever encountered. You're more to be scorned than pitied. Good day, Mrs. Cunliffe. <laughs>